This week on 3D Printed Soup, want to keep your valuables safe like it's the 10th century? Then you need a Cryptex. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week I have been looking at keeping valuables safe like they did what in the old days. And I found a print of a Cryptex. What is a Cryptex you ask? It's that thing with all the little keys on it which they had in really good murder mystery novels from like the 10th century. Oh and also Dan Brown books which aren't so good but hey. You can use them to keep keys safe, you can use them to keep documents safe and unless you've got the 5 to 26 digit word the mechanism will not open. I found a really really nice one on Thingiverse and I thought you know what I'm going to be doing the next four weeks doing Halloween scary prints. Ooh, it's spooky month! But this week I wanted to do something a little bit different so I'm making a complicated series of locks, rings and discs which go together to make a beautiful cryptex. So without further ado let's get ourselves printing one of these beautiful beautiful keepsake holders that basically means you can open your own escape room and confuse people with a complicated locking mechanism where they have to guess what the word is to open it. Before we do however Thank you so much to everyone who has liked and subscribed this month. We are way over 600. We're very, very much heading towards 700 and hopefully a thousand after that. So love to everyone who has liked and subscribed this month and love to everyone who has subscribed. If you're not, why not? Drag your cursor down, hit the subscribe button, join the community which is 3D printed soup. If you do come round, you're putting in for pizza. Now, let's put ourselves a Cryptex and live the damn brown dream. Not writing crap paperbacks, uh, building a really really nice lockable cylinder. Let's give this a print. And oh my goodness did this not turn out wonderfully. The mechanism all moves, all the little cylinders around the edge spin, it's fairly well put together, doesn't rattle, it's 
smooth as butter and you just put in the code why did I mess this up so much line it up correctly and there it goes now the pins that came with this design were fragile and awful so what I did was I cut the heads off some nails and we've got now got nice super glued in nail heads that are basically a lot lot tougher than plastic 3d printed pins as you'll see along the inside there, you have got a little channel where the pins all go into. And as long as all these discs are on the right numbers and letters, you get a channel all the way down. And it's open, but you mess them around a bit and it stays secure. No one's going to get hold of my copy of Razzle. I mean, my secret um, government documents. Moving on. Right, Cryptex, very great, very awesome. Loving the old school document security. Gonna use this in a 3D printed escape room, which I'm planning for the end of October. More details on that later. And yeah, this is wonderful. It's old school, it looks brilliant. The mechanism is great. Thank you so much to the guys who put this online. Details in the description below if you want to print your own. And what I'd recommend is if you print the rings with the letters on, about, about a percent bigger than it actually comes in the file. It just means they slip on to the cylinders much, much nicer. And also means you're going to much easier be able to change the combination on here. Uh, I have injured my arm this week. Oh, I can't lift it higher than that. So yeah. This is why this video is a little bit rushed. I thought, you know what, I'm going to do something that doesn't require too much effort and too much work, but is still freaking awesome. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. For the rest of the month, well, for the rest of October, it's going to be spooky month. I'm doing four scary spooky prints and one special one on the 31st to celebrate Halloween. The holiday that actually means very very little these days apart from candy and going around other people's houses begging but hey it's still good fun you can dress up like a slutty nurse i know i'm going to thanks for watching 3d printed soup stay happy stay safe keep cryptexing